we're back. I actually took a long break. <laughs> so we're back. We, uh, I cleaned up the ladies from the grand ball round. We're now on to round two, three, round six. Pretty good here. I've got five things flipped. We're definitely going to use the croquet lawn. Take my reputation for my monument. Rotate my service. Going to put the croquet lawn up there. Money is the order of the day. And so what I am focusing on here is to defray a little bit of the pain of her penalty with uh, this gentleman here. So we need to supply service there and I can supply service there from my servants quarters. Um, now, in case anybody's wondering, you can only use a footman if the valid is not available. Nobody else is available in the servants' quarters, so what do I have? I have a big money play. I have 100 here, 800, that's 900. I have 1,100 pounds. I think I'm getting myself into another monument. I do think so. And then I am going to lose one reputation. So with the monument, I broke even that turn and got myself into 1,100 pounds. Not too shabby. Flip that croquet long. I do need a path upwards and onwards. So you know what? I don't know that I'm going to necessarily be buying that monument. And the reason I'm probably not going to be buying that monument is because I need to get my reputation rocking and rolling. And I'm going to go with a drawing room here. I need a path. You might be saying you don't have a path. I say, yes, patience, patience, young Padawan. I have a path. And so that was my purchase. That cost 700 pounds. 1,000 in there. Take three. Oh, by the way, geez, I should give credit to Rob who provided me with these glorious, let us look at the gloriousness, these glorious nanny narking coins. Nothing else gets used for obsession but these. And that allowed me to pick up the drawing room and Mr. Scavenger comes grawling along. Just off camera, a three takes the riding stables. Ha ha ha, have it, I don't care. So that's, that's good. Now we're on to the national holiday. Oh, you're mocking my mistake. I meant to grab the music room. Are you gonna let me go back and get that? I don't think you are. Actually, actually, it was national holiday. Oh my gosh, I should have grabbed, I should have grabbed the state. Oh, I gotta do it, guys. Hey, filming mistake. You're gonna say, hey, that's not fair. But we're going to do the stateroom. So the stateroom comes over here. We're going to rotate service, take a reputation. You're going to put that there. Now, look, I had this sort of planned when I took the break. And I'm going to be having her. And I am going to be having her. And I have six gentry. I am going to be having her as well as him. These, neither of these two require service because the generous, opinionated Lady Isabel decries the plight of domestic staff and refuses service on principle, part of her power. She's influential enough over the lowlifes, they're not quite lowlifes, she is, that they, they, they decline service. So these two don't require service. That comes there. I am not going to be able to get an admirer bonus, but let us weigh in here. How about this? How's this for a turn? And we'll do this. No, I'm going to save that because next turn I might be able to use that. Here, I'm going to use that there. All right. So what do we have? On the money side, we have 300 and 600 is 900. We have 1,000. We have 1,200. We have, I'm going to take reputation. Uh, we have 400, 1,000, 1,100, 1,300. I'm going to take a reputation there. So I'll come back to that. So let me get my 1,300. We're going to get that monument we were talking about and maybe a couple other tiles because I'm loaded pretty nicely over here. Reputation side, we have five, six, seven, Four, five. We have one full level of reputation. 
that's what I was thinking on. I, I got one ahead on my planning with that drawing room was for now. Yeah. Yeah. Filming can be tough to play intelligently. <laughs> It's tough for me to play intelligently to begin with. What rep uh, invite? We have two of these. Let's see what we have. I want some VP cards. And I get it. Oh. Got to do it. Got to do it. Oh. Ah, this is a, this is a, um, a promo card. I lose three reputation on draw, but I get a victory point card, and I can get another victory point card. But I'm really struggling on reputation, but I can get up there. Uh, I'm going to risk it. What the hell? Let's live once. And do I have anything else here? I do not have any further invites. So we are done. Break this bad boy down. Stateroom flips. Great scoring tile right there. And I'll pull these people out of here, and I'll get them out of the way. Now, I'm definitely going to get into the sculpture garden. How can I not? 1,200. So that's 1,200 right there. And then it leaves me with 500, and I want a path. Um, I can go here and get my last tile, and I can grab that English garden for six, so actually 500 because of the useful man. Gets me that English garden, and I have a path, and that would be all my money. Take that off. That was worth it, though. That was absolutely worth it, although I'm going to be passing very soon now. And scavenger, what are you going to do, scavenger? 11. We're here. That's three down. Ooh, I got that. Man, eh, I lucked out. I was thinking I was going to take that. English garden, but would have missed it by one. So it takes that there, move this here, go to the next level, rotate service, take my two reputation, get up to four. You know what I f forgot? Oh, I didn't. Even though I drew him, I've got to play him to get that VP card. Did I lose? Did I take away my three victory points? I did not. I did not take one, two, three, my three victory points on draw. Son of a gun. I don't think I did. Son of a gun. Okay. And we are now on a new turn. I took the reputation, which is how I paid for those three victory points, and I'm going to come to the English Garden. Now, people are saying, wait, how are you going to play that? Well, well, well. Useful Man is going to help finish the, pre the English Garden up early. I hope you're seeing this okay. Is this... This is, turns out to be bad resolution. I'm going to kill myself. So I got that English garden there because the useful man is lowering the prestige rating by one. Oh, I can't do it. I don't have enough ladies. I had that as a plan, and the plan got the best of me. So... Wow, I got a pass. And I am going to hire on a pass. Take this guy, put him over there. And I am going to get myself a little ladies maid help. Keep the money flowing with the hall boy. Okay. So scavenging action happens, even though I purchased a zilch, and I have a six, which is the morning room. Not complaining about that. We go now to a village fair. Beginning of the round, I put that on the village fair. That generates 500 pounds. One of the actions of the useful man, he adds 200 pounds. Two reputation, plus two reputation for my two monuments, gets me back to four. So suffering the slings and arrows of... Where did he go? I lost him. Whoever that gentleman was uh, is okay. So I'm getting only three turns away. I'm three tiles away. I'm playing pretty well here, and I'm pretty pleased. Um, we're going to get into that English garden now. We're not going to have to spend the useful man who I don't have. And we're going to come up here, and I know I have three ladies. That's the guy, Thomas Allen Hurt. 
I gotta start getting rid of I have to start getting rid of some of my American heiresses or I'm gonna get zinged by a big negative. So I'm getting rid of the 800. She's gonna be my discard this for her action. And how about that? We rocking and rolling? That's beautiful to look at. I'm gonna do that. And then I get to grab the footman, or not the footman, the hall boy there. Oh, no, I, I took, did I take anybody? I don't think I took anybody from Servant's Quarters. You'll yell at me if I did. Money. So we've got 400 coming from the hall boy enhancing. If you're unfamiliar with the hall boy, uh, being dedicated to a guest, every one of these activities that we host is the feature activity in a long visit to the country estate. So, like, for example, the cook is not enhancing the meal f at the Constitutional in the English Garden. What's she following them around with, with a pheasant under glass? No. If these people are coming to this estate, they've got to travel there. They're there for four or five days, eight days. They may stay there for a long time. That's where the cook shines. Hall boy, because this is a, a foreign dignitary, very well connected, running errands, messages to post, enhances that monetary favor, which relates to her knowledge of international developments that could lead to investment opportunities. Um, don't mean to belabor that. There's, there's that 400 pounds from her. And I'm going to use the dismissal for the lady of the house. I've got... That was out of sequence, sorry. I've got a reputation there and two there. That's three reputation, two, th one, two, three. And I am going to have this for the five frau. Oh, I've got to keep my other American heiress unless I dismiss this guy. <laughs> that's a promo card. And, um, and then I'm going to look at two and keep one. I love that guy. It's one of my. It's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite dudes. He collects natural specimens. Doesn't it look like it? And that's that's great. And then I got C two. Keep one here. We are rocking, are we? Oh, look! How can I not have Margaret Dowager Countess Fairchild? Bam. <coughs> Excuse me. So we are going to put this down here. I didn't get that reputation there. And put this over here. We're just going to do a little Eiffel Tower here. Dudes, flip this. I'm liking the cut of my jib. Yeah, i got to come over there as well. How about all... <laughs> How about all those servants used for one activity? That's what's so cool about the new servant mix. And um, these are two discard pile. I have 900 to spend. Ooh, I put the parish church in there. That's 900. Yeah, I'm going to grab that. It gives me a path. Oh, I love that. Love that parish church. Bam, baby. All 900 gone. Really like that. Okay, scavenger. You have not missed a scavenge yet. Ten. Middle tile here, losing the flower room. Not too upset by that. And we're going up to turn number ten. We've got two to go. Let's rotate this. One other reason is, look, there's no... Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. One, two for my two monuments. And... This here doesn't require any service, and it gets four reputation, and it requires only one gentleman. Now, I did not put into the rules that you could take a casual guest gentleman like this gentleman here, and he would leave your deck to be the, the new clergyman who the, uh, the living was established for. 
I'm going to encourage people to develop their own house rules on it. It was too complex. There were too many exceptions. But uh, we're going to do that, too. So we're going to have Viscount Winston Haywood. Or actually, not Viscount. Honorable Winston Haywood, the son of Viscount Hayward. Winston eschews responsibility and spends his days <laughs> in sport and society. Well, you know what? He's had a Saul-like conversion, and he is now having a living established and that is going to be for reputation. Uh, I do need that. It's going to be for reputation. Whoops. It's me to five. And come up here. And um, this is going to flip. And in my house rules, I'm going to take Winston, and I'm going to put him right below his parsonage. How do you like that? Put that there. What a cool tile. I think that's Stephen Cleary. Now look, I get 100 pounds or a reputation in the future when I do my uh, monument check over here. <laughs> that's great stuff. Okay, so I do need to, oh, yeah, I bought that. Scavenger. Well, I didn't buy anything. I bought that last turn and I got no money this turn. That's rough. That's rough. That, that hurts. And I'm now losing that which would have been a beautiful no flip edition if I could gin up the money gone that's oh remember I said I was going to I was going to show you what scavenging looked like if we added those those would both be added that's 14 victory points added to that 132 we'll see where we stand um ouch that hurt next round builders holiday we're going to slide everybody down there and here. I have three monuments, and I'm going to take reputation. Eh, do I want money? You know what? I need, I need some money. I'm going to take two reputation and money from the parsonage. That's, a, that's so cool. And give me an inferiority complex that uh, people are doing better in tile design than I am. And um, we are now... Oh, my gosh, I have no pass. See, this, this is death right here. This was a mistake. I didn't figure out how to get even a cheap tile in here to get me that rose. I've made a fundamental mistake. So we'll go over the money route to try to fix that mistake. And this will be pretty good. <laughs> you know, a lot, of my, a lot of my original first edition followers who who play this game, love the stories that come. And I think Margaret Fairchild out playing croquet. Well, that's, you know, she's not infirm. I know I talk her about her being a little bit sedentary. Well, she's playing croquet. I thought that was tennis. I was thinking she was going to be playing lawn tennis. And look at that. Would that be not the coolest thing? Now, just so you know, this is an ability that she has. That she. Let me zoom in here. I apologize that we don't look at a lot of these things up close. But the head housemaid can stand in for the housekeeper, even if the housekeeper is available, to free up the housekeeper. I mean, she has no purpose, and she may be useful next turn. I could use either one, but I'm showing you the ability. And then I'll put this one here. I'm going to put this one here to enhance that. So that's pretty cool, huh? So that's pretty cool. Let's do our money. We got 600 because of him. 300 is 900, and 300 is 1,200. Well, there can only be a cabinet curiosities in my future at 800. Let me go out so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm getting the cabinet. I mean, over 10 of so I got to put things in prestige rating order. That's 800. Of that, 6, 3, 9, 12, and I, has, I had 13, so I still have... 500, and I'm going to grab this Stock Lake. Stock Lake is a new tile. It's going to be a lot of victory points. Seven victory points on the back side. It's going to be my final play along with the final two plays. And so that's, excuse me, that's Stock Lake. Um, cost me 600, so I'm 100 short. What did I do? What did I do? Where was that? I don't remember where that was. So I'll go my 100. If that's wrong, cuss me out. 
but I do get a reputation. So let me don't want to get ahead of myself. Look, I'm 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 getting a little incoherent. I should have stopped this tape ten minutes ago so that I stayed fresh of mind. Uh, because I do have three reputation. So that was that was a better than a wash. And I have a victory point card. Let's see. Ooh, a refresh action. Refresh actions. That's all great. Excuse my arms there. Did play a tile twice. That's death in solo estate challenge. And I I got her to play, by the way, seven over the five because of the cook. Margaret Fairchild loves Mrs. Puggins lamb's ears. It's actually a thing they used to eat. My God, some of the stuff they used to eat. And we now have scavenging action. Six, right there, breakfast room. You might be saying, well, the scavenging action doesn't look very deep. This has been a very diverse scavenge so that they've been sifting the top of the decks or stacks. Um, I've had scavenging actions just blow straight down like through the prestige and you lose all your great value tiles. Um, there is a rule that it can never scavenge where it won't let you finish your tableau. But um, this, is a, this is quite a balanced scavenging, and so it hasn't been painful to me. Slide all these people down here. We're going to the Cabinet of Curiosities, no question here. Cabinet of Curiosities. And we're going to... Where's that gentleman? Where is he? I paid for you. I want that victory point card. And I want the young lady going with you. Get that Meyer bonus down, looking at the natural specimens, which he probably visited the cabinet without even telling us. And uh, I need that. Fortunately, I can grab one there. And so we have uh, no money. Boo. I don't need money. Good. No money. Two. And six is eight. Reputation. So that's two. That's five, six, seven, eight. I have reached max reputation with that play. And I get a VP card. Ooh, a servant. Don't, I'm going to take those points, though. I don't need a servant. Flip that, and I am going to finish next turn. So did I forget? I think I forgot to move the round track marker. I think it's supposed to be there. See, apologize. Got to wrap this baby up, though. The last scavenging action, and it doesn't matter because I'm not going to buy anymore, would be for the drawing room. And we're going up to the village fair. We're going to put rotate service, pick up 500 from there, pick up three reputation. Actually, I'll take two reputation of 100 pounds from the parsonage. These two should be gone. And let's get that stock lake out there and wrap this baby up. I'm going to use the cook. She's obviously not cooking while they're fly fishing, but they came for the week. And she put on a wonderful spread after a long day on the water. So we're going to go this guy since i got to keep my American heiress there. I wonder if I can pull this off. That's 1,200 pounds. That's 1,300 pounds. That's four gentry. I need some reputation. Do I see? Yes, 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 yes. Did I take anybody from here? I don't think I, I don't think I did. <laughs> I reached the level of incoherence. So I've got that there. There's no invites involved. And so I am going to lose only one reputation, which does not matter. Going out of sequence, I got 1,200, 1,800, 1,900. I'll put that in here. It gets me 2,000. That's some great money scoring there. And I have nothing else. Flip that stock lake. We've reached end game scoring. 